It's a 73 and I bought it in 75. And this was, very car? This very car. Okay. On the way to school, I spotted it and I skipped class to go look at it. Yes! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he skipped class to buy a whole yeah. Hey, everybody, Matt Jackson. How you doing, buddy? Uh, good. It's the first Wednesday of the month, and it's August. It's uh, it's the last first Wednesday of summer. That's right. So we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're excited. It's a smooth 106, 7 degrees. So we're all good in that department. So, but you guys join us. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Hopefully, there's a good turnout there at uh, at the old In and Out, and uh, we're gonna bring that to you and uh, see who we can talk to. Yeah, and have let's a good time. Uh, let's jump in our buses and hit the road and head down to In and Out oh, yeah. Hamburgers. You turn on the AC on yours. Oh yes, my my AC's open. Yeah, mine is too. <laughs> Okay, I've got, oh, it turned to 110. Here we are at uh, First Wednesday at in and out and I am with Charles. Uh, Gary, hey. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, Gary. Good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> Charles, we are standing, bye, y'all, <laughs> standing in front of a very unique car. Can you tell us a little bit about the story on your Beetle? Oh, yeah. So it's a 73, and I bought it in 75. And This very my, car? This very car. Okay. And uh, I, it was my, my high school, college car, and... Um, I met my wife and we dated in this car. Our first date was in this car. That is so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I know. And so, uh, so I mean, that's 47 years you've had the same car. How in the world did you keep it? I mean, you know what I'm saying? How that, because I, I know I've had cars that like, and but eventually they go away. Yeah. How, how did that, how did you end up yeah. keeping it? Well, so I drove it for 20 years straight. Right. It's always been running. And then when I moved out of state for a job, it just, Put it in the garage. Okay. And then I've always said in my back of my mind, I want to restore this pretty soon. But you know, life gets in the way. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you bought this. It was almost basically like two years old yeah. at the time. All right. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what the uniqueness of the, yeah. this model, of this car yeah. is. Okay. Yeah. So it's a special edition that they only built in '73, and they made them in two colors: uh, marathon blue mm -hmm. and Saturn yellow. And there were a lot of dealer added parts that you could buy, like uh, the stripes. Right. Or the black headlight rims. Okay. And they had some special tail pipes, you know, they were oh, okay. a little bigger. Right. And okay. Yeah, a few other things. It came from the uh, the dealer pretty much the same way. Uh, as we yeah. see it here. Okay. Yeah. When I bought it, it had factory AC, well, not factory, dealer, dealer installed, installed AC. AC. Okay. And uh, when I had it restored, they put in the AC. I see. Yeah. So you, and you kept the dealer installed original under dash yes, units. Yes, ducting and yes. everything. Yeah. That's, I saw that yeah. earlier. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Because yeah. it's very period correct. Exactly. And then you have the, the more modern AC on the back and everything the like that. The radio one. Yes. How long ago, uh, how long did the restoration process take? So I had it restored in um, 06. It took about a year and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I had it restored at a place in Oklahoma called Earl Mann's Bug Shop. They're, they were so good that you had to wait three or four years. To get in get yeah. in line with them, yeah. okay. But when I went and visited them, we clicked. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And he got me in, you know, in about a year. Wow, yeah. okay. So, and they were very reasonable, reasonably priced. Wow. They did everything. They did, oh, everything. Paint everything. and everything, mechanicals, everything. Yeah. We, Ooh, full, full everything, yeah. right? We did the body off and I, I, thank you. And I added the, uh, 
four fifteen. I had them do that. Right. Okay. To, and, uh, to the pan and everything. Yes. Uh -huh. So now uh, the wheels are these the same? These kind of these are the sport wheels, right? They're that, the five and a half inch Lemmerts wheels. Lemmerts. So five and a half. Okay. Yes. And, and this and, this was what was on here when you got the car. Yeah. So those what, are the factory rims on the car. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. So from an originality standpoint, I mean, this is I mean, you pretty much can speak from almost the darn near beginning of this car. Yes. That you've had it for 47 years. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Let's kind of talk about some of the things that are very unique to this car. I mean, oh. the wheels for sure. It, the black treatment on a, a, like the headlight rings and the black around, uh, around the vent windows and the black door handles that was all the way it was because of the because of that the model right? that was factory that, that was, was not dealer installed was, uh, the headlight trim was but if you see the steering wheel the sports steering wheel in the seats um someone said that they were ricardo seats but i'm not sure but uh even the um the cloth and the the way the the weaving is done sideways right that, that's all original so that's all original mm -hmm. wow okay yeah. so let's think about this well, this is a, this is a Super Beetle. When were the first Super Beetles come out? 72? 71. 71? Uh -huh. Okay. So this, do you think they were just kind of like, from a marketing standpoint, they just, like, the model's a couple years old, let's, let's make a little sportier version kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, at 73, you think about it, the Pinto was out now, and the Vega, so they were that's who they were competing with probably. That's right. That's right. So you probably remember also that in the in the 70s, early 70s, those wagon sales and the bugs went down. Yes. So they did, they came out with the special editions to pump sales up. Right. And you probably remember they had the jeans bug. Yes. And the sun bug. Yep. And some other champagne editions. Yes. Yeah, so this is So just so that's what they were kind of doing, just yeah. trying to, as, as they go, we got to, got to just a little bit to keep the, keep the thing going a little that's bit. That's right. When, when you did the restoration, was rust a problem? Uh, <clears throat> it really wasn't that much rust. Okay, okay, that's um, good. But I asked them to replace the pans anyway. Sure. Has it ever been in a wreck? No. Wow, isn't that amazing? No. And those are the, all four are the original, original fenders. fenders. Wow. Yeah. This is a very, I mean, it's it's beautiful. I mean, Thank you. as we've been sitting here talking, people are coming up and going, oh my, <laughs> it's so, I, I just I just love this Thank car. You. Let's go back to the business end back yeah. here. On the deck lid is a 1303. Can yes. you explain and what is what is what is that exactly? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's a, it, I don't know what the S stands for. You? Sport, I, I guess. I guess. Super. Uh, yeah. I would I say just, sport yeah. or something. I just know that it was kind of special because it's a European badge, and I was fortunate to find one on Samba. And so, and okay. Uh, so the motor itself has it had to be, have you had it rebuilt? Yes. Okay. Actually, this is a new engine, and I still have the original. The original. Okay. And right. this is a, a new uh, uh, Brazilian dual port 1600. Oh, okay. Awesome. Dual port 1600. Uh -huh. With and, the hydraulic. You know. Oh, it, oh, it's hydraulic. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. It's pretty stock. It's Solex 34 pick three right. stock. Talk about the air conditioning a little bit. I mean, d mm -hmm. does it blow cold? It does. So the everyone will probably remember that the dealer installed one was a Tecumseh. Right. And it was just a big, huge. Oh, oh it, I've heard it drew a six to seven horsepower at least. Oh, yeah, and the weight. Yeah, yeah, not to mention the weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this one is so quiet. It's a little uh, yeah. Sanyo or? I think so, yeah. yeah. Sanyo. So very and uh, yeah, it, it, it's cold. Wow. Yeah. It's so clean. That's what I, I, I like yeah. about everything on here. And, and the, one of the coolest things is, is the distributor cap. <laughs> somebody goes, somebody probably goes, hey, hey, come on, come check out this cap. <laughs> <laughs> so can you guess uh, what cap that came from? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I didn't know either until I finally what asked. What did it come off of? It came off of an X19. Oh, the Fiat X119? Yes, yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was shocked. Interesting. Know? Yeah. But, you know, you can tell they had to because of the AC. Yeah. That so, is so uh, funny. But it, it makes total, I mean, otherwise you're going to have a clearance problem. I That's mean, right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. The black trim on the bumpers, that was factory as well. That was factory, factory of, as along well. Along with the paint scheme in the middle. Yes. Bit. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. And, uh. The black trim on the tail lights. Yes, look at that too. Yeah. Yes, that's another. Um, that was another that was a, thing. Yeah, that was a also. And and you're right about the trim around the windows and all. That. Those came right. from the factory black. Because you know most most window seals, the American trim always had the chrome piece in. Yes. It. So yes. this was the cow look before that's right. cow look. That's right. I mean, you know, in, in that in that yeah. grand, grand scheme of things. Yeah. So this engine is pretty stock. I had them put in a uh, new OEM. Um, uh, heat shields. Okay. And uh, when I put a uh, 
a vintage speed uh, exhaust, exhaust on it. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, uh, a little bit bigger on the pea shooters yeah, and everything. Yeah. It, I, I just love things that are done clean mm -hmm. and, and stock and the way, yeah. and the fact that you, I mean, there's only maybe two years of history of this. You don't, did you buy it at a used car lot or out of the newspaper? Or? On the way to school, I spotted it and I skipped class to go look at it. Yes, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he skipped class to buy a oh, Volkswagen. Yeah. It's a Volkswagen, you know. <laughs> oh, that's a lesson for you kids out there. Don't go to school. Oh, no. If you pass one. Oh, my gosh. Is this out in California? No, it was in Waco, Texas. In Waco? Yeah, of all places. Really? <laughs> At a used car lot in Waco. And some farmer had the car. I don't know how, but I don't know. It didn't it, matter to me. It didn't matter. So you're the second owner. I am. Yeah. And the car was in reasonably good shape when I got it. I mean, yeah. a year and a half old, it wasn't yeah. beat up. No, no, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, so and it, I mean, so you drove it for 20 years as your, I mean, soon, pretty much your daily driver, right? It was. Yeah. It was. It was great. Yeah. You know, you, you think back on a car like that, how many mufflers you, you've, you've changed out, how many brake jobs. Yeah, it was just like that. Yeah, just the same thing. Yeah. And you've just, I mean, the history. Valve adjustments. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you got it, it had AC because it was dealer installed. Do you yes. remember if the AC worked back then? Oh, yeah. It did, huh? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it worked from the day I parked it. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. How many miles do you think it has? So the, well, the original speedometer had 102. Okay. And uh, when they restored it, they zeroed it out. Okay. And it's got like 5,900 miles now. However, more than half of that was towing, tow miles. So, so I don't drive it much. So it's probably a little over 100,000 miles. I mean, if, if yeah. uh, just a little, oh my gosh. Well, it certainly shows it, because it's yeah. just, I mean, it's just straight. I mean, look, it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. An original glass, and it's just, it is. It is original. It's just every little bit of it is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. It really is. So the restoration, uh, they put in the square weave carpets. Okay. And the mohair headliner. Yes. Because I asked them for that. And then I asked them to put the stock uh, door panels okay. there. Okay, okay. With the pockets. You know. God, it's yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. It's, it's it's done, right? Is, is there anything else? I mean, you do, now it's just enjoy it. yes. enjoyment. That's yeah. it, you know? Try to convince my wife to hop in every now and then. <laughs> so you said earlier, he's like, even though you courted her in this, now she doesn't want to ride in it, huh? She hates it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too loud and too rough. <laughs> too loud. That's perfect, right? That's it. Yeah, too bumpy. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just a wonderful car. It yeah. really Thank is. You. I mean, I... Thank and you. I I love it to death. It's the the story that you've had it for that long is just amazing. I mean, it really is. That's that to me. That's 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 the whole story itself. Because you know, I mean, so many of these things have passed through right. tens and fifteens right. and twenty owners right. at a time. And the that's fact right. that I mean, you've had this one for forty something years, right. and it's you're the second owner. Yeah. That is just yeah. It's a it's it's amazing. It I really think you're is. right. I, that you know the history of the car, and uh, it really means it's important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it very much is, and then yeah. you could trace, like you said, you know every yeah. oil change. Every, I mean, geez, that's the best part, yeah. you know. Yeah, it is. Well, Charles, as always, I love it when you bring it out. Thank, thank you. you, thank you so much. It's it's just a it's just a wonderful car. Thank you for your stewardship of this oh, car because yeah. that's that's like that's a story in itself. It is. So thank you for. You know, having me and, and yes. talk about the car. Yes, that's definitely. Wonderful. That's what that's what we want to do. To me, that's what the most important. When I started this channel, that's what I want to do is I wanted to document the history of yeah. these cars with people, right? Because that's the people's story. That, that's yeah. what it, that's yeah. what makes these cars. Exactly. I mean, it really exactly. is. I mean, we all you know, but it's the story and and, and the uniqueness and, and and you know the thing is, every one of them has a unique story, and oh, yours yeah. is right up there, yeah. man. It's awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Charles. Yeah. Thanks Thank you, again. Gary. It's great to see you. Thank you, buddy.
Well, you know, we didn't have the beer to wonder, Jake or Tommy, but we still had fun tonight. We did. It was a VW Live version of Matt, Jackson, and me. And, yes. the, and the guru. So we had some fun, didn't we? We did. That car was beautiful. Okay, straight up. Charles' car is amazing, and the story is even double amazing, it, wasn't it? We, we were just so amazed. We had no idea ourselves that he had bought that when he was a teenager in 1975. Uh, yeah, he brings it out. I've seen it. You know, it's like, oh, what a cool car, but to actually dig in and start talking to him about it how awesome was that that was so awesome and you know that's what it's all about like you said talking to people and getting the stories and just sharing you know uh, i mean you know matt jackson i don't know how long we've been doing this like what 15 20 years we've been doing VW least, life it yeah. seems like to me that's the first thing I, when we talked about doing this a long time ago i wanted to do it as a from a his, historical standpoint and preserve stories yeah. and get stories and, and, and history of these things on yeah. on people who drive them and own them and there's no, there's not a better story than Charles with his, with his 75. No, I mean, Volkswagens are the perfect, the, they're the perfect vehicle to make new stories and make new memories, and everyone's got a great memory in their Volkswagen. That's it, it really is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our episode tonight. It's been a lot of fun. There goes Chris. You can hear him zooming off in his green beetle. That sounds pretty good. We just make sure you guys tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody you know about VW Life. We do this for you guys, the VW community. This is what it's all about. Do a hangout and the stories you hear just take those in man that's what it's all about and share your stories with us we want to hear what you guys got going on too and uh it's been a good night Matt Jackson. yeah we'll see you guys later bye everybody